So what we have here in the main area, we have a start page. The start page contains various useful bits of information. And also, as you'll see later on, over here on the left hand side, it displays getting started information, plus a list of recent projects that you might have worked on. I'm just going to close the start page here. And now we'll create a new website. So to create a new website, you go up on the file menu and select new. And as you can see, there are two different options here. If you want to create a Windows application or a class library or a console application, then you click on project. But if you want to create a new website, then obviously you click on website. The new website dialog box pops up and it enables you to create various different types of web application. The main options are ASP.NET website and ASP.NET web service. All the applications we're going to look at in this series are ASP.NET websites. So let me click on that. And if we go to the bottom of the dialog box, you can see the location dialog box gives you three options, file system, HTTP, or FTP. If you select file system, the new website will be located on the file system on your development computer. When you run the web application, Visual Studio 2005 will automatically start a default web server to host your page. This is great. It means you don't have to have IIS installed on your development computer, which makes life a lot easier for configuring developers' machines. This is the option we're going to choose in a moment. Let's just discuss the other ones first. If you select HTTP, you can develop an IIS website on the local computer or on a remote computer, and Visual Studio will use HTTP to communicate with the target computer. The target computer must have IIS version 5.0 or later, plus ASP.NET 2.0 installed. The third option is FTP. If you select FTP, you can work with websites that are hosted on another server, such as the server for a commercial hosting service. Visual Studio uses FTP, the file transfer protocol, to communicate with the target computer in this situation. So those are the options. We're going to select file system. We'll also select Visual C Sharp as the programming language. We could have chosen Visual Basic or Visual J Sharp. This is Microsoft's Java programming language but we're going to click on Visual C Sharp. Just to finish off, we have to enter in this text box here the location for our website. So let's enter a suitable directory. I'm going to enter C colon backslash my first website, and then I'm going to click OK. 